Hello everyone. Um, somebody's got to do this job, so I'm going to do it. My name is Robert Patton. Thank you for joining me. I'm going to briefly compare two pair of underwear, and we will do Tommy John and sheath underwear. So, what we have here is a pair of Tommy John. I accidentally spilt something on the leg there. That's uh, wax from a candle, accidentally. Never. I pr I only tried these on for about two minutes, and they were so uncomfortable. I had to take them off because what happened was the crotch area was too tight. There was no. Um, I mean, it was literally smashing my junk back into my groin, and I couldn't deal with it. So I had to take them off. Uh, I guess maybe I'm used to another kind of underwear, but. They say that it has a pouch, uh, they say that it has an isolation, no readjustment necessary, but I don't see that. Do you see that? Because it does have this vertical fly that's pretty cool, horizontal fly for that matter, um, but that's not a pouch. So when it says, we're going to do jockey pouch soon, because there's no pouch in that either, um, but there's no pouch in this. I mean, all it has is that vertical, horizontal, excuse me, fly. And that's about the coolest thing. Other than the fabric is amazingly soft. It has some uh, stitching on the um, inseam in, in the crotch area, which is pretty nice, but it's pretty much very similar to another product I will show you, which is called sheath underwear. Very similar look and feel as far as the fabric is concerned. Uh, they do have this, Tommy John has the pretty cool waistband, uh, it's about um, two and a half inches. Ours is similar, but less, probably like two inches. And we have the fabric covered waistband, which is a, a hit. A lot of people find that more comfortable. And it has a fly, and so you can use it for easy access to uh, the urinal. And then we have the inside, which is the more important features. First of all, there's plenty of room in this pouch. And there's also plenty of room in the front for adjustment. You see this seam in the middle here? It creates a convex outward uh, space area. And so that allows you to grow as needed, which this body part tends to do occasionally. And we also have room on the inside. So you have enough room to fit about a, the size of a softball or more. And then as you can see, there is a circular seam um, specifically designed for the penis to isolate in very sticky situations. That's not 100% necessary. You can use it specifically for urinating through the, you know, as a urinal kind of fly. It, it makes it easier to use that way. And you can also just not use it or you can use it when it's like hot as balls outside in the Arizona desert and you're just like, you need isolation of all your limbs because skin on skin contact really quickly will create a sweat effect. You know, if you hold your hand together for less than a minute, maybe two minutes, um, it'll start sweating. Same thing happens in your ball area, underneath your arms, etc. The head, armpits, and balls are the most, are the hottest parts of the body, so you have to keep that in mind, that this is a hot, that one of the hottest parts of the body, so it needs extra care and attention, and putting on regular whitey tidies that smash up into your package, your smashes your package right up into your groin, that's not going to work. And not that these are whitey tidies, but I mean, the, there wasn't a whole lot of space in the crotch area, which uh, uh, we at Sheath take very seriously. That's the most important part of the underwear. So check them out. They're available at sheathunderwear.com. This is Tommy John versus Sheath comparison. And I really appreciate you checking this out. More to come very soon. Have a great day.